hello all till now we have completed complete interface of this project we have created user dashboard page and also we have seen how to do payment page how to do orders page how to confirm the payment everything we have seen okay now we are going to see whatever we have done till now and also i'll be showing you the demo of the admin section okay from now onwards we are going to work on admin section what all privileges admin will have what all admin can see everything we are going to perform now okay before that let us see what all we have done we have just added all these items we have created this welcome guest and also we have created the login section now inside this i am having home products now if the user is not registered inside this i am having register here i'll just click on login as of now i have just registered one user so i'm just going to click on this login i'll just login using one uh, name i'll just write here kanam 1234 login login successful okay now you can see i am redirected to this particular section okay this is the user dashboard page and inside this user can see pending orders as of now user is not having any orders so here i am having you have zero pending orders i'll just come to home now from here i'm just going to click on add to cart okay now one item is added inside the cart you can see total price is 100 and also sub total is 100 i'll just click on checkout and here i am having two options payment options that is pay offline i'll just click on this as soon as i click on this i'll be getting orders are submitted successfully i'll just click on okay now this user is having one pending order you can see now when i click on this order details related to that order all the details are been displayed now for this order the payment is not done okay user has not done any payment so here i am having incomplete user can edit the account whatever options here we are having user can edit the account user can see this orders whatever orders user is having user can see that one user can delete the account and here we are having log out once the user is logged in here you can see we are having here welcome khanam and also we are having this log out section instead of log in we are having log out i'll come to home here i was having register now instead of register i am having my account now when i click on this my account i will be redirected to profile page okay this entire thing we have performed once the order are submitted we have seen how to delete the items from the cart now inside the cart i will not be having any items okay cart is empty okay this entire thing we have performed we have seen how to separate this categories as well now when i click on this mcdonalds related to that the products will be displayed for me when i click on this books if if i am not having anything i will be getting this no stock for this category and also i can search for this i'll click on search you can see related to that i am having this product okay now we have performed all these things now what we are going to do we are going to perform admin dashboard page in our starting videos we have already created the admin page let me just show you i'll just write here admin area okay inside this we have created this particular interface for admin we are having insert products okay when we created that one we have just inserted categories i'll just click on this you can see insert categories okay we have seen insert categories we have seen insert brands and also we have seen insert products okay these three things we have seen inside admin dashboard admin can insert the products admin can insert the categories and also admin can insert the brands now let me just come to home page i'll just duplicate this one now i'll just come to home page now inside this you can see inside categories here i'm having shoes now below that i'll just click on this insert categories i'm just going to add one more categories i'll just write here uh, sketchbooks i'll just write here sketchbooks insert categories category has been inserted successfully okay now if i just come here now you can see still shoes i'm having now as soon as i refresh this one this sketchbook will also been added here okay this is how dynamically it is going to perform we have seen how to insert the categories and also we have performed how to insert the brands now what we are going to see we are going to see view products i'll be showing you the demo what we are going to perform i'll just come to my store and inside this i'm just going to go to admin dashboard admin area okay this is my demo project admin area and inside this as soon as admin logs in it is going to ask for admin login okay directly i will not be redirected to home page first i should log in after log in only then i should be redirected to admin page okay that is index page okay here my admin is seema i'll just give the password login successfully logged in okay now you can see here i am having welcome seema okay above i am having welcome seema okay this is the same interface whatever we have done 
Now when I click on this insert products, I will be having this form and from here I can insert the products. Next I am having view products, whatever products I am having inside this one, inside this project, all the products admin can see. Now here I am having edit option. Now when I click on this edit, you can see user, okay, admin can edit the options. Admin can perform all these things. I will just come back and also admin can delete this one. When admin clicks on this, this product will be deleted from here and also from the database table, this product will be deleted and also from home page, this product will be deleted. Admin can perform all these things. Okay, total sold, all the data will be displayed here. As of now, no item is sold. So here I'm having zero. And this status, I'm just going to explain you later. What is this? Then next we are having insert categories. This we have done. Now view categories, all the categories will be displayed. And also when I click on this edit categories, admin can edit this category and admin can update from here. Then we are having uh, brands. Okay, insert brands we have seen. In the same way, we are having view brands. Admin can see the brands all orders as of now we are not having any orders so here i am having no orders yet okay if you don't want to display this one you can just hide this one okay. when we are doing our project i'll be telling you only this should be displayed okay this table heading should not be displayed okay later on we are going to see how to do that one as well all payments till now we are not having any payments so not, no data has been displayed list all the users okay as of now only one user is there okay image is not been updated later on i'm just going to update the image Okay, it will be listing all the users, how many users this, okay, how many users are present inside this website, all the users will be displayed and finally we are having this logout section. Okay, this entire thing we are going to perform one by one, we have seen insert categories, now first we are going to perform on view products. Then later on we are going to perform on admin login section, everything we are going to see one by one. Before that I will just update the image and also inside this all orders and all payments if orders are not there and if payment is not done i should not display this header okay that also we are going to see now let me just come to home page i'll just remove this one now i'm just going to add to cart item is added to cart i'll just come here check out now here i'll be writing here khanam password one two three four login successfully logged in okay pay offline Orders are submitted successfully. Now user is having one pending order. Order details. Now totally four products were there. All the orders are submitted. Now I'll just duplicate this one. Now I'm just going to come to admin page. And inside this when I click on all orders you can see that particular order is been displayed here. Okay this is how we are going to perform. Payment, when I click on this payment, no payment has been displayed because user has not done any payment. Now I will click on confirm, I will select, I uh, will just select here UPI, confirm. Now this payment is done, status has been changed to paid and here I am having this complete. Now I will just refresh this one, you can see that payment option, okay, whatever payment we have done, that has been displayed. This entire thing we are going to see one by one, okay, this is the admin dashboard page we are going to work and also here we should be getting the admin name, okay, that is welcome Seema, welcome Khanam, whatever, whoever admin is, that admin name should be displayed here. Whatever image I am having here, that is the static image, I have just displayed that one. While inserting the admin, whatever image you want, okay, if how we have done for user, in the same way you can do for admin as well. Okay, it completely depends on you, what all you need and what are the requirements you need in your project. Based on that, you can just edit the project. Okay, that's all for this session. From next session, we are going to start with admin page.